Hey, Sting. It's Season Love, S E N L U V, that's who I be. And welcome to another episode of the Money Healing Monologues. Over here at the Money Healing Monologues, I like to open up a space to speak about black wealth, health, and excellence. So join me every Monday where I like to take different topics, dissect them, and open up a conversation for us to reiterate and reteach ourselves some things that may be causing us blockages. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Um, I believe that money is an energy. So if we can all embody the energy of wealth, I just feel like this world would be a better place. And to be honest, black people deserve it. This week's topic is about experiencing burnout. So let's talk about what experiencing burnout may look like. It's pretty self-explanatory, in my opinion. Um, when you, since we've been taught to overwork ourselves in this capitalistic society, I think that we've gotten into this kind of seven-day cycle of, you know, wake up Monday and, you know, can't wait for Friday, can't wait for the weekend so that you can party, 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 but even partying is still not rest, you know what I mean, and do this for months and months and months and months, and then there's just times where your body is just like, nah, I'm done, bro, and you, like, you know, some people see this uh, or experience this as sickness, um, it can manifest as soreness, uh, literally passing out, a heart attack even, like, if we're talking about worst case scenarios, you know what I'm saying, like, a lot of us work until we can't anymore a recovering workaholic herself i know exactly exactly how burnout feels the amount of times i've experienced just so much stress with everything in my life and i just always had oh, it's that airy shit bro just always going 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 until i just I fucking couldn't anymore and I had to either like I would uh, I get so such bad I used to get such bad migraines and uh you know times when my body felt sick and weak or like oh even when it's my time of the month but I used to get crazy stupid wild cramps bro crazy stupid wild cramps and that's a good indicator that my body needs rest. You know what I'm saying? I'm experiencing fatigue. I'm experiencing like, you know, like my body doesn't feel good, bro. So why don't I give it rest? Because in my head, I'm just like, nah, bro, body, stop being pussy, bro. Stop being fucking pussy. Where am I dead? <laughs> Weak. Yeah. Let's get into the who. Who does this affect specifically in our community? Honestly, all of us. Uh, we were all slaves. I'm weak. Um, it's just the- ancestral shit that's passed down pertaining to just us working until we drop or literally dead i think it's a definitely a um, a common thing in our community that's been passed down from generation to generation to generation just looking at my mom's generation that's a prime example i'm generation z so that would make them boomers right yeah boomers um or i could be wrong i don't know somebody tell me down in the comments i'm not sure which one our parents if i'm gen z what generation would my parents be i think that we've all been conditioned to overwork ourselves and not even give ourselves breaks on the weekends because on the weekends you're supposed to be partying and drinking and drinking in itself is a whole nother um topic Uh, but just considering how each week goes for our people i'm not confident that we exercise rest in our everyday lives we don't prioritize it getting into the what what does this do um i feel like burnout causes inconsistency honestly really keeps us in this cycle of just going 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 drop okay i'm up okay i'm rebuilding okay i'm back up i'm back up go 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 and then drop it's very inconsistent and it doesn't do i think it doesn't do well with our body either burnout is even just lack of rest you know it's our eating habits it's our you know what we consume habits you know what i'm saying like the energies that we decide to engage in i think there's a whole bunch of different things that can cause burnout that can cause us to just literally feel deflated you know what i mean i think this also fucks with creativity o d o d where do we see this in our community Mm -hmm. where Uh, and i asked that i mean the instant question that came up to me was where does do like where um like where does it affect specifically like i heard where does it affect specifically and i said in our mind body and soul because on the physical it obviously you know helps our body deteriorate even quicker um it 
doesn't do justice to our muscles um, and just this vessel that we have to use every single day. Um, then mentally, it I think it keeps us in the loop of thinking that we need to work to live because that's the only reason we're working so much because we need basic necessities because we need the reality that we live in is that we need to pay for basic necessities so with that in the back of all of our minds well in the forefront of all of our minds honestly it's easy for us to do what we gotta do in order to make how we live you know what i'm saying i feel like as black people that's something that we all can collectively do like do what the fuck we gotta do so we can get how we live so we can take care of what we need to take care of you know what i'm saying and then on a spiritual level limits us from our power our inner power you know what i'm saying because our body is never in a good state to even embody the energy that we want to attract does that make sense like experiencing burnout fucks with our spiritual maintenance as a whole i feel like there's not a lot of time to really dive into yourself and understand yourself on a soul level if there's so many distractions outside of you causing you to become tired and drained and just you know unfocused also you know what i'm saying because a lot of it is where we channel our energy and we channel our energy to get into how we live because we need to make a living so i wonder how damn does everything go back to how capitalism is fucked up and the patriarchy is really terrible that's crazy when like i said it's i think uh you know these are generational curses that was passed down to us and we just got to be the ones to break them you know what i mean break the cycle and start prioritizing rest which brings me into my why is because we deserve rest you know what i'm saying like we deserve peace and wellness and happiness. We don't deserve to be working as hard as we do. Right? And we all know that we've been tired. You know what I'm saying? We feel the tiredness from the generations and generations before us on our shoulders. So I just think implementing rest into our daily lives, into our daily schedules is just becoming more increasingly important to me. It's hard to embody the energy that you want to attract when you have so many external factors dictating your emotions for you. So you're at this job and you you don't fucking like the job, I'm weak. Um, But you're going to do it anyway because you need money. Because you were taught that you need money. And it's like this vicious ass cycle. If we're talking about capitalism still standing, which I doubt, I'm weak. I believe that a new system will emerge and we'll just all be in a better place. In a system like this, how are we supposed to implement rest in our everyday lives? If the reality is we've given people so much power that we have to pay them for basic necessities that come from the earth. Basic necessities that we need to live. On that note, thank you so much for listening in on the money healing monologues this week i appreciate you for being here um i hope that something i said sparked you know some type of anything in your brain whether that be positive negative or in between i would really appreciate if you comment down below your opinions let me know what you think you know what i mean i would love to you know pick your brain and i like when people pick through my words also because it brings up questions of you know just beautiful things we can all learn from so i'll talk to you guys next week